Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're new, we do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier list. And then of course, during award season, which we are currently there, we do reactions and predictions. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So of course, as always, I am late to the game, but we are finally gonna be talking about season two of Euphoria. I did not review season one. I don't think I did, but I did cover the two special episodes, Jules and uh, Rue, so you can definitely check those out. I'll go ahead and uh, link that up here if you missed those. This is one of my favorite TV series that are currently playing right now, so I definitely was looking forward to the season. Of course, we did have to wait because of the pandemic, like what, two years <laughs> to get season two, but thankfully we did get those two special episodes to kind of hold us up until we did get this new season. We're not going to be talking spoilers except for like one particular thing that I do want to talk about just because I, I wasn't particularly happy with how that didn't resolve. So we're just going to give you my overall thoughts on this season and then I guess we'll give one particular spoiler but we'll do that later on. So of course the cast is absolutely wonderful. We do get amazing outfits. I love the fashion that we get in Euphoria. It's definitely very different. That's really what stood out for me in season one. The makeup and everything. The soundtrack also was really really good. I love the way that the overall show just looks. The tone, the lighting and everything, the production really really good um now my negative on the show a lot of the stories in this season really just kind of are still open like there was no end to it and I mean I understand that we're going to continue on but if I recall correctly we're not going to get season three until like 2024 I also felt like we put a lot of the characters that were really um there in season one to the back end of things this season like Jules especially like I really didn't feel like we had a lot of her here especially there at the last episode. Kat also very underutilized here and I definitely was not here at all for her story what they ended up doing with her. Season two did focus a little bit more on uh, Fez which I absolutely loved his character from season one so I, I, I'm really happy that we got a little bit more of him and his relationship with Lexi and then also Maddie and um oh my god I forgot her name Cassie I can forget believe I forget and Nate as well Rue is still Rue you know drugging it up making new friends um her relationship with Jules is like you know, after, of course, after season one, when uh, Jules ended up leaving her at the train station, she finds a new friend. That whole interaction with the new guy, Elliot, right? Is that his name? I think that, well, that's, that's what I'm going to say it is. I feel like Elliot is the right name. I feel like with Rue's story, we got to it really quick. There was not a big, huge development to it. I don't know, you guys. I, I'm just going to say, this season was a bit of a letdown for me. As much, as much, as, as much as I, I enjoyed season one, I love the special episodes, especially Rue's. And then, like, I was really excited for season two. I just feel like they didn't really know how to properly balance out all these stories, all these characters, and, and we never really finished anything. Like, I feel like in season one, because of course there's so many um characters involved that we were able to pretty much balance everything out very well and like here I just I didn't really feel it very balanced if that makes sense uh, I mean of course everybody has their own opinions don't come at me you saw it I saw it we apparently we saw different things if you absolutely loved it I feel like there's like zero issues with it you know something that I really hope that they do if we're not going to get season three until 2024 is that we get maybe like another two special episodes with um, two other characters, you know, that would be kind of nice. Maybe between like Maddie and Cassie or Nate. Oh, Nate with his crazy ass. Nate was definitely like, oh my God, like the whole mess with Nate and Cassie, you guys. <laughs> Let's go on before I start really getting into like deep down spoilers, you guys. Oh, before I forget, because I can't, I can't not mention this the damn play Lexi she did a hell of a job with this play this play what the hell was the budget because like they had a lot of like set things props moving stuff and I'm just like huh, it's school play right like how I'm assuming that's one of those questions that shouldn't be asked it's just you know what just enjoy what's in front of you like don't ask don't ask no questions 
okay? Just shush and enjoy, right? Don't be trying to get into the logic behind everything. Right, so we're gonna get into the spoiler talk, which is and Bobby Rue and the whole drug dealer job proposition. Basically at the end was for her to get all these drugs so she can do them. I know this woman wants her money, for starters. She either wants her money or she wants her drugs. I mean, at the end of the day, she wants her money. And she said, you know, if you screw me over, I'm gonna sell you to men who are gonna do the terrible, terrible things to you. I mean, she's very like non-scary. But, like, you know you need to be scared of her, you know? Like, you know she's capable of things. At the end of the season, I'm just like... <sniffs> um... So we're just never gonna circle back to this. There was no consequence, really, to that. I mean, yes, she got clean and everything. That's great. But there's a whole other drug dealer. Like, you got a suitcase of, of drugs. And I can't remember how much money that suitcase was. But it was... Oh, she gonna get you rude. So I'm assuming maybe season three is we're gonna focus on that. I hope we kind of go back to it. But see, like the way that it ended, right, it's kind of like a happily ever after deal, right? Where she's like walking away, and she, that she finished the school year sober, right? I'm not gonna lie. The way that I wanted the season to end, because to kind of leave you on a cliffhanger, because let's face it, the season ended, and I was I felt like I was on the way back away from the cliff. Like I was nowhere near, like about to dive down like oh my god give me season three like now when she was walking away right and she's doing like her uh voiceover and she's by herself and this was literally me at the end oh my god oh my god there's gonna be a van there's gonna be an suv they're gonna capture her they're gonna grab her boom and she's gonna take off because it's gonna be the drug dealers right because they want their money right they're either gonna want their money or they're gonna want her and they're gonna do some bad bad things to poor poor, poor rue and she's gonna be like more fucked up like i honestly kept waiting for that to happen and that's how i kind of wanted the season to and to leave me on that damn clip like oh my god poor poor rue like how's gonna be the mama like are they gonna look for her or they're gonna be like no she just like took off because she's gonna be back on drugs because you know how she had just recently got off the drugs but you know it's rue all right guys so before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new i almost forgot that i'm ranking series now you guys i i honestly did so um euphoria season two we do get eight episodes it's a little bit different from season one as far as my enjoyment for it but i did still like it i do still recommend this um the series as a whole uh, definitely not like a family friendly kind of situation but i guess if you do have like the older kids then that's something that you could probably watch with them but um just know that there's just a lot going on like a lot i hope that we do get some um extra special episodes like we did get for jules and rue just to kind of hold us up until season three because i think those were really interesting and i i would like to get more of those from the other characters um uh, the makeup the the fashion everything also was really good i don't feel it was as outstanding as it was season one but i also feel it's because we're already used to their style so it's not that extravagant at, at this particular point like season one is like wow like like the makeup and like everything about your fashion was like new right it was very like oh i was gonna do like a whole euphoria look like with my eyes Oh, who am I kidding? I wasn't going to be able to do shit. With all that said, I do still think that you should binge watch Euphoria. Those are my thoughts on Euphoria Season 2. Let me know down below if you've seen the series. Um, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it just not for you? If you disagree with my take, that's totally fine. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.